going to start with the uh, demo. But, uh, before going that, uh, I want to ask something like, uh, what is the software? What is the meaning of software? Um, it's a set of instructions to yeah. carry out. So set of instructions. Yeah. And one more thing is set of program calls. Okay. Set of programs and set of instructions is called some software. So in here we are having some types of software is system software. So we are going to discuss that what is the need of for Java or uh, Java application. What is the need of Java, where we can really use the Java software that I am going to discuss this in this one. So, in this software we are having system software. Can you tell me what is the system software? The, the system software is nothing but a, a software which works inside the system. Um, yeah, that's inside the system. And one more thing is you just cannot use explicitly the software. For example, I am using Android software. Okay. I am not using the Android software, but when I see things, the interaction internally operating system is using the software. So the type of software is coming under um, system software. So if you want to create system software, you need to use C and C++. So because then we are having pointers, so by using pointers and the uh, we will create system software. Next one more thing is we uh, have application software. Okay, application software is nothing but a software which is used by the end user. Mm -hmm. So that is the um, application software. For example, if you take the um, demo copies of uh, this one, um, go to meeting, these are all under um, application software. So this one you can use it directly. So this also we can download by using Java or Docker. So the main name of Java is to develop application software. Okay. 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 In this application software, we are having two types. One is standalone, standalone applications. Next one is distributed applications. Distributed applications. A standard application is nothing but an application which works only within the system. Only one system works. Okay, for example, if I take the MS Office, it works in my system and it is installed. So, a okay. software which is has to install in your system and it works only one system. That software is coming nothing but a uh, standard application. Whereas, a standard application is nothing but it works in browser. The application which is feeding in the browser and we will be able to share the address of the type of applications are called distributed applications. Okay. 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 Now, the main aim of distributed application is I can uh, share my result across the globe. For example, um, I can open any game uh, distributed application. No need to install the software. So if you install a uh, browser, it is okay. Then the uh, moment you search separately for Gmail, Yahoo, and like that. So these type of applications, you want to create either standalone or distributed applications which is Java program. Okay. 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 Java and Docker. Okay. Okay, actually one more thing is here, we are having PHP also. Uh, PHP is used to only for distributed applications. You cannot use for standard applications. Only you can develop PHP to distributed applications. Okay. So the Java definition is Java is a software. Java is a software which is used to develop develop applications like standalone or desktop and distributed applications. Okay. Application good results are shareable across the world. Good results are shareable. So this is Java. So we see one by one. 
a somewhat in the in this uh, distributed application or standard application we are having some types of okay, MPC this one. For example, if you see this one, this is the example of two pair applications. Okay. Two pair application is the same, the client will be there and the server will be there. Server or database. Okay. The client is nothing but one of the software which is easy to give a request every time and which is easy to get the response from the server. So, when client is there, yes, server is here. Server is also like one of the software which takes the request from the client and process the request and gives response back to the Okay. So now we have client is doing the request and server processing the request and he is getting that response. So this type of applications are called user application. So we are having in standard or desktop or desktop or digital applications, we are having user application, user application, standard application. So this is the example for user application. Next one more thing is all desktop applications are user application. Okay. Okay. Or oh, no. uh, okay. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Got you. Okay. So here what I'm doing that if it is a user application, then client will be there, server will be there and database will be there. So client is giving request to the server and server is interacting with the database and it is fetching data from the database. Here you know get it out. Client cannot be request directly to the database. The first point is Salary is there to be the result for the uh, for entry. For example, if one more client is also there, then what will happen is two clients are giving same request, server will be request to database only one time. And it takes the data only one time for two people. So if server is not there, what will happen? All the people will be giving the request to the database, so the database cannot handle the number of requests. So server is there. So, for the software which is used to give response of confidence and one more thing is it will do only one request if the uh, two people are giving the same request. Okay. okay. So, this is the user application, additional application or web application. We also discuss other two types that is only for desktop. These are also sometimes we can make it web application. For example, uh, my, my application, I don't want to uh, store any data, just to put like static images or static pages. Okay, that type of application is user application only. I'm not using any database, just to forward I'm using. So, sometimes you can make um, user applications as a web application also. Uh, okay, so, yes, tell me. So, uh, you mean to say, um, uh, you said two time applications can also be web applications. Yeah, sometimes you can make it a web application. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, don't you know? Uh, uh, yeah, tell me. I mean, don't you think uh, they need that? Probably uh, uh, every application you definitely need a database, right? Yeah. I, mean, uh, uh, I mean, but uh, how are you like? How are you like defining it as? A two type or three type, it's like client server and database, that's why it's three type and if it's client yeah, server. No, no, no. I'll tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. My website is there. Okay. Okay. Something like, um, uh, what is that? Uh, it is that, like, uh, my website is giving information only uh, about my college. Okay. Just it is giving college address. Okay. Some college is giving okay. images. And some additional information is giving, some faculty information is giving. Okay. okay. That time, I request the user can see only the what is it? The pages that which is having um, some school information, faculty information. That is only. He is not going to give any additional information. Okay. Okay. That means yeah. some static pages. For example, using that um, this is take on my issue. Okay. It is not having any uh, like uh, user interface. Okay, user interacting, then you can make it a web application as a user application. Okay, for example, if you take Facebook, so it is taking data from database and it is giving. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more example I will tell you is if you take Google, just to take Google, only Google page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Google okay. page, when you open Google, actually when you are giving you some uh, value, then only it is taking data from the database. It could be static pages. 
Okay. Okay. It is just known to do uh, this time we have only HTML file. Yes. 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 Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that time you can make it a Twitter application as a web application. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Yes. Yeah. I then you can log in to user to some uh, for every user. I need to do different different results. So that time only database is required. Okay. 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 Different different results to every user. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if all users are getting same page or same images, then no need database. Yes. So that time only okay. we can make it a Twitter as web application. Okay. Okay. Next one more thing is this is vendor application. The Twitter application sorry, Twitter application and vendor application, the difference is between client and server firewall program is there. Okay. So the firewall okay. program has to do that it stands the data when coming from the client and it stands the data when coming from the server. So it's like a scanner and this is one more thing is this is used to have some authentication also. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this firewall program is for the security and it stands the viruses. For example, since Google service is there in many many places, I'm using the uh, Google platform. If my uh, system is having some virus, okay, definitely the security person is going along with the request object, right? So what yeah. firewall we do for the firewall scans the data each and every time by coming from time and again response from coming from server again scans the response of the server. So this is the unique for only for security purpose we are using in between client and server. So this type of applications are called as vendor application or digital application for web application. Okay, this is also an optional thing. So to make web application required in this only one is client and one is server. And there are some firewall is that is optional based on the Okay. Is it okay? Now you got it right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. This one is uh, the features of uh, Java. So these are the features of Java. Simple and object-oriented uh, programming, uh, platform independent, secure, robust, architecture and other support, and high performance and multi-threading and so on. So you see one by one. So first one is we are having many APIs. Okay, you need to write logics for all the uh, for all logics. So sometimes you can use three different function and three different methods. Okay, unlike in C language, you have to write um, logic for everything. But you are known to write logic for everything. Just you need to remember the class names and methods. So Based on that, we can draw all directly So, the okay. type of sheet is Java is single. Next, one more thing is, this is purely object oriented programming language. Okay. If you want to write even a hollow world program also, you need to create a class. So, without creating a class, you cannot create Java program. So, Java is 100% object oriented programming language. Okay. Okay. Next one is platform independence. So, for example, if you take Java broadcast class, I will tell you what about the broadcast time. For example, here I am creating um, one Java program in Windows. Okay. If I execute the same Java program in Linux, okay, it will give the same result. It will give the same result. The thing is okay. here, when you are using Java, okay, it creates memory for all data types, same memory is created for all operating systems. For example, if you take C language, okay, when you are using C integer, it creates two bytes in uh, Windows and it creates four bytes in Linux. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Then what will happen when you are uh, uh, changing operating system, result sometimes will change. So to change the yeah. result, to do the same result, some additional things you need to do. But in case okay. of Java, it creates same memory location. Okay. Same uh, number uh, 4 by 10 it creates in all the operating system. So based on this one, okay. the result doesn't change in all the operating system. The result is same. Okay. Next one is Java is secure. So 
we are having some predefined logic so that we need to write separate logic for the security. Okay. So directly you can use Java authentication for the security. Uh, for, uh, security. Okay. So based on that one, we are saying that Java is secure. Next one is Java is robust. That means um, Java is giving more security, robust in the sense it is dynamic results in all the time. Next okay. one is access to an open. Dynamic result in the sense. Uh, what do you mean uh, dynamic result? Yes, see this one. Actually we are having only the static result and the dynamic result. Okay. Okay. So static result in the sense. Ah, uh, static result in the sense. Uh, for example, when you open Google, the result is Google data. Okay. Only the same result will be. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Dynamic result in the sense, it will be different results when you open Gmail that time. Okay. After giving login and password. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more thing is, you can handle exceptions very easily. For example, see. Exception handling, exception in the sense, when um, each of anything path actually is true. True anything path. Okay. Character is anything path. Hello? I can share it. Yeah. Hello? Okay, okay, see this one. You can uh, uh, ask to, yes, tell me. Uh, 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 I did not check the dynamic part, actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm only on the number 9 telling you. Oh, that is the 9 telling you. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll see this one. Assume that user, is, user has to be skinny. Okay. The user is skinny. But the user is being Okay, user is giving num something like numbers. Okay, so I need to display some error message. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need to display uh, error message. Okay. okay. So here I am handling errors correctly. So based on user input, I am able to give proper error messages to user. So that is only nothing but handling the exception handling. Okay. For example, you take one more thing. Um, integer a is there, a equal to something seven is there. Okay, this okay. is integer equal to a equal to something number two is there. Now okay. if okay. c equal to a by b, then what will happen? We will get something like five. Okay. But user if user is giving b equal to equal to zero, that time what will happen is given <laughs> something, we will get some system or system error message. Yeah. Okay, system error messages. Okay. Okay. So when you are using Java, you can give user friendly messages that don't give zero value for the DO. So by that you can give user friendly messages for the error. Now you got it right? Okay. Okay, so user giving a user friendly message to back to the user is the dynamic behavior of Java. Yes, dynamic message. Okay, okay. This one is architectural note then. That means Java you can execute in any architecture. Okay, whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit, you can execute and it can do same result in all the architectures. Okay, okay, okay. This one is portable and nothing but it is a platform independent and architectural note then. Okay. Okay. This one is this yeah. interested. Actually, now, if you want to execute a Java program, you should have one more compiler, one more thing is competitor. Okay. Okay. So, what the uh, compiler will do that, we will discuss this one, compiler and uh, what uh, interpreter. Okay. Mm -hmm. What okay. we will do that, it will change dot class files to dot class file to system understandable language. Okay. 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 Next, one more thing is, interpreter is executing line by line <laughs> and if any error is there, it stops the execution and it gives user friendly messages. That is only in this case already uh, robust. Okay. 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 And when you are using compiler, okay, compiler is actually only for the compilation and it is used to change the source code to that class file. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. That Java to that. Uh, that uh, yes. Yes. Uh, that Java to 
dot class file in which you can convert. This is an interpretable dot class file the system understandable language which is a good change. So, oh, 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 can you write it? Do you use this interpreter in here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we won't use. Okay. When you execute the program, automatically Java software will use that interpreter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Yeah. That is only the ARU. Okay. Okay. See, the JRU is called the, 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 uh, the interpreter. Yes. yes. Okay. From here, we will have JDK. This is for the uh, Java development toolkit. This is mm -hmm. used only for uh, your, uh, what is that, um, uh, dot Java to dot class. Okay. Okay. So, with JRU is, this one is used to dot class to um, system understandable language. Now it is that correct? Okay, yeah. So when you are installing Java, we have to make the JDK software and JRU software. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one is, it is dynamic memory allocation. For example, when you are creating your uh, memory by using C language in RS, that memory will be static memory location. Okay. You cannot give specific size. For example, see here and then. Okay. Now I'm using C language to assume that we have C. You need to lay out size. Okay. Definitely I need to give the size in C language if it is RS. Okay. But I cannot do like this. You need to get Okay, you need to get You need to get off here. I cannot do that. Okay. So what will happen? We have to use specific size in RS. In my C language also. Okay. But if it is Java, you can pass like this also. Then you need to get off here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can get the value of and based on that you can get the size of here. So, I did have a PHP memory dynamically. Okay, okay. Dynamically memory is PHP. There is no static memory allocation in Java. So, C is static. C is in C static. C is the memory allocation. Yes. Actually, in dynamic console, you can use in C by using M log and C log. But, YARES is static. Okay. Okay. That means Java total array from corrections and everything is dynamic memory allocation. Okay. So while uh, while execution time, you can give specific size. So base value size, it is PHP memory. Okay. Okay. But one one more thing is once you create the memory in array in Java, you cannot give the value. You cannot give the value. Can you please clear now? Sorry, uh, I am talking in repetition. Can you repeat? Yeah. Once you do the size for the arrow, okay. Okay. you cannot increase that distance in, in Java and C also, in Java and C also. Okay. For example, <laughs> see here, here I gain n equal to 10. Okay. okay. In this case, I want to make uh, the arrow size is here of 5. This is not possible. Okay. Okay. So, for that only we are going for uh, actually corrections. So, based on requirement, you can change. Uh, memory size. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here you can give dynamically memory size you can give. But once you do the memory size, you cannot increase that distance. And next one okay. if you want to do the same, you can you have to go to corrections. Okay. Okay. So the main thing is here it is uh, Java is creating memory dynamically. That is the main uh, okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay, then. Next one is high performance. Okay. So we are having byte code. Okay. Based on this byte code, Java is having high performance. See, when you are writing dot Java file, what will happen? You need to compile the your program by using Java C compiler. Okay. When you are using Java C compiler, it changes to dot class file. That dot class file only is having byte code. That is only the same that byte code. Okay. Based on this byte code, Java is very, uh, that is Java is very high performance. Okay. So one more thing is, if we are only executing this dot class file, we should have no. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we have to. 
emoji number. Okay. Okay. So here, what is happening? So you just cannot answer that. I will tell you the duty. Okay. 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 So this is only I told that Java is robot. Okay. 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 For example, you assume that actually I need to pass only in this check, but I am passing two of them. That time I should not do this error, right? Okay. Yeah. So, that time I should not do this error, right? So, Java is using the handling exception. So, this is the Java interpreter is using the user to get the variance in handling. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's okay. So this is the life cycle of the first Java. Next one, the thing is, this first Java we are going to do. This is the first Java. This concept actually will discuss in the book. Yeah, sorry, I didn't think about it. Okay, so the amount of honest and helpful. Okay, I think for her. Yes, it's all this in the book. And it will take the yearly one month to do it. Okay, I think one month to do it. In the book. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah.